Good morning once again you guys. I'm back with another video. Today is another day and it's another chase. Today we are going after punk band Anti-Flag. Yes, you will come to learn that I am v very, very open with so many different genres of music from country to punk rock to heavy metal to R&B to rap to jazz to blues and my heart beats to the beat of the drum. So today, Anti-Flag, that's who I'm going out for today. Let me show you what I'm going to be doing here. Right now, I'm trying to piece this together. I got three vinyls that I'm trying to do. So I want to make sure I have them all set up. That way, when they come out, bam, 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 sign them all. And then I have a photo that I will be showing you in just a second. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what I made here. I laid it all out so it could be perfectly easy when the guys come out of that tour bus or van, wherever they're driving in, I'll be able to just hand it over and just let them go down the line and sign it for me. And I know some of you who's watched my previous video are probably like thinking, but yo, I thought you only like getting only two items signed. Okay, I know I only like getting two items signed, but sometimes it's okay to break the rules, right? Isn't it? I hope so. Well, I really hope I get them all done today, that's for sure. All right, let me show you what I made here. Make sure to put this is the front area, the arrow pointing towards them that way I know when I open it this is going to be towards them um, all set and ready to go when you open it when I open it uh, the first thing you see is the 8x10 photo that I made for them Pat is the drummer and um, his Instagram name is uh, God of Thunder so I'm gonna see if he wouldn't mind putting God of Thunder uh, somewhere up here and uh, Justin Chris and Chris and Chris 1 and Chris 2 so that's the first thing you see and hopefully I could get that done I'm undecided if I want to do silver or a nice blue paint pen. Uh, when I open it up, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see all the three, the three vinyls. Um, Terror of State, that's my personal favorite album that they have. Then uh, Bright Lights of America, that's like my second favorite album that they have. And this is their newest album. So, uh, yeah, uh, I hope to get all these done today, and uh, let's go see if we could get some ink. These guys, uh, you might be hearing them in the background. These guys are an underground punk band from uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So, I don't think it should be an issue of trying to get them to sign all three of these, or all four of these items for me, including the photo. So, um, all right, time to go get ready and uh, head out the house. All right, I'm all set to go. Let's go get some ink today. I'll be getting off at Civic Center and it's 
to the venue right now and I don't see nobody here yet so I might be a little too early. It's barely 12.02 and the show starts at 7.30. So let's see how long this wait is going to be. So who knows how long I'm going to be standing here. Um, I feel like it's going to be a very long day. You know, I used to be so good at uh, determining times of uh, what time shows were going to start when I was a teenager. Now, uh, since I haven't gone to many concerts in a long time, like these type of concerts, like the punk concerts and heavy metal stuff, I've, um, I guess everything has changed. I mean, I, I used to remember bands used to arrive to the venue like around noon and to start setting up their equipment and then sound check would start like around one or two. But who knows what's going to happen today. I'm just going to sit here and uh, hope for the best. I do need to leave early, so hopefully I get them soon. Here's a little tip for anybody, or for all you people who's been wanting to get into the autograph collecting hobby. If you don't have patience, this hobby is not for you. You gotta learn to be patient and wait hours and hours among more hours to get a signature. So if you don't have patience, find yourself another hobby because you won't be able to hang with this. <laughs> Just being straight up with you. Just a little tip. So that's a wrap. Got anti flag to sign all my three vinyls and my 8x10. Just Insane was also cool enough to go ahead and do a little message for you guys that we'll be putting at the end of this video. As soon as I get home, I'll show you all the pieces that I got signed. My marker started uh, crapping out, so I'm not very happy with the way some of the vinyls turned out, but the 8x10 came out beautiful. So I'll show that to you guys when I get home. All right, guys, as promised, as I said, I'd be showing you the pieces that I got signed when I got home. Uh, unfortunately, the pen that I had started crapping out on me and some of the vinyls did not come out the way I was expecting them to come out and I'm a little disappointed by it, but at the same time, I'm happy to finally get these done. I should have just went with the Silva Prisma like I would normally do for everything else. But here's Terror Estate. And um, I got all four members to sign this vinyl. And here's the other vinyl that I got done. This is my favorite one that came out, actually, because you could actually see the signatures on it. Uh, this is uh, Bright Lights of America, and it came out really nice. So I have uh, Chris number two, Chris Head, uh, Pat, and then Justin Sane right there. And this is the new vinyl that came out uh, not that long ago. Chris number two, uh, Justin Sane. Chris Head and Pat. I like how uh, Chris number two gave me three, four different signatures. Um, he put the the two, and then he gave me the the heart right there. And then over here he gave me the the two with the flag. And then last but not least, my favorite piece that I got done is this awesome, awesome eight by ten. So first, like I said, I was going to have uh, Pat put God of Thunder up there. He says he's never had anyone ask him to sign that before, and he gladly was able to put that on there for me. Um, that's him right there. And then Justin Sane. That came out beautiful. This pen actually works better on photos and not uh, vinyls by the looks of it. Chris number two, Chris number one. And last but not least, this beautiful inscription that Justin put on there for me. Punks against Trump. With a circle and crossed out. So that's it. That's what I got done for today. Great experience. Uh, another great day of out there getting some ink. I almost forgot to mention that Chris number two gave me a guitar pick today. I um, saw this on Instagram and I asked him if he had an extra one and he went onto the bandwagon and grabbed me one so that was pretty cool. This is a great pick. I used to be a pick collector a few years ago. I used to collect a lot of guitar picks and I still have them. So this is just going to go into the collection. Unfortunately I don't have the ability to go to a bunch of shows anymore to get guitar picks like I used to. But whenever I do get them. It's a nice little feeling, so especially when it's a band that you love, like Anti Flag. <laughs> What's up? I'm here with Justin Sane from uh, Anti Flag. 
Just want to see if you want to say anything to my channel. Kick, kick it on the streets of San Francisco. Take good care, stay positive, don't give up the fight. Peace. Much love, brother. You got Thank it, dude. Thanks, bud. Hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to always stay positive. Peace.